M0FXB ICOM 706 Mark II and we do actually have a band scope so to get to the G menus you push display here until you see G at the bottom left of the screen then press this menu button here until it says G you want G1 once you've got band scope to start the band scope you just press SWP F3 and it does mute the audio. Let's turn up the audio and we'll push SWP again. So you've now got a, vid a visual idea of what the, you know, the frequencies are like or the bands. Now the F1 button changes the amount of lines you're seeing here. So let's press it once. 5K look. Does it a quick sweep if you just press and change that? Press again. 10K. 20k right now if we hit the f2 apparently it brings it back to the middle not really seeing a visual change so let's press f let's change the frequency press f2 oh i see what it does when you press f2 so if we change the frequency to there and we hit, hit f2 it automatically puts the frequency of the radio back into the middle of the sweep. If you hold down the sweep button, F3, hold it down, it will start to continually sweep, but you don't hear anything. And so then what you can sort of stop it, where you like it, let's push F1 again, sweep. And then you can tune through when it stops. If you look at the little white at the bottom of the matrix, there's a very small white dot. So you can look for the peaks. If we go back to a bigger sweep, 10. Push briefly for the sweep. And then we'll stop it. Stopped it there. And then see the white, the, the small dot at the bottom. We'll move it to the peak. There's a peak here. So it is usable. I think it's quite looks quite nice. So that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on air. All the best. Bye for now.